What's going on, everybody? You guys are having a fantastic day. Welcome back to 10 for 10. This is the 10 for 10 finals edition. A little bit of a setup change today. Obviously, Kevin is in South... Are you in North or South Carolina? South Carolina. You're in South Carolina, okay? So we're doing this on a Zoom call. Now, pretty much before we get into this, before we get into the picks for the finals, I just want to gloat a little bit. You decided to tell me in my own basement, right here in this spot, that I shit. That I do not know jack shit about basketball. You also decided to make a reaction video after your first round picks and try to tell me that I was running from you in the second round and that I didn't know what I was talking about. You then again sat in my basement and tried to tell me that Kawhi Leonard and Pandemic B could beat the Phoenix Suns in seven games. You then tried to tell me that the Bucks would sweep the Atlanta Hawks. Giannis gets hurt, they only beat him in six. So tell me, how are you feeling? You are now a broke man. How do you go? from being $50 up in the first round after winning seven out of the eight matchups. The only one that folded on you was the Los Angeles Lakers. How do you feel after losing both matchups, relying on Pandemic P and the Bucks in four games, Giannis Antetokounmpo's knee to suddenly make you this money. But at this point, I am now up $50. The 10 for 10 champion is now back. Give me the belt. Let me put it on. It's over for you. At the end of the day, it's over. All right. Are you done? I'm finished. Are you done? Go ahead. I'm 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 a nine hour drive away and I will still whoop your ass. Just You'll so whoop you... my ass, but you still owe me money. Does not matter. All right, let's get into this, okay? What you said was entirely correct. Okay? I did put my money on Daddy Kawhi and Pandemic Pizzle to win that series. And they would have won. They would have swept. I'm saying that word, S-W-E-P-T, they would have swept them if Daddy Kawhi was there. Swept them. Swept them. Four games. Boom. Boom. No shot. Boom. Dustpan. There's Boom. just no way. What? How do you lose to a team in six games and then you get a player and then you end up sweeping them? That's not how this works. You, you think that's not how this works? That's not how this works. All right, how did... The Lakers lost in the right, first I, But I'm not sitting here saying that they, they would sweep the them. They but they wouldn't sweep them. You know they wouldn't sweep them. They would sweep them. No. The, you, the Lakers in the first round would have swept the Phoenix Suns? What? Are you a no, psycho? They wouldn't, have, they wouldn't have swept them, but they would have won. They would have won, but they wouldn't have swept All them. The All the difference. The point that you're trying to... The, the Lakers are a fundamentally better basketball team when healthy on the court. And you're trying to tell me... I'm going to say it again. Pandemic P and quote unquote Daddy Kawhi, who you spent two years crying about because he left your boys. He left the Toronto Raptors. He said he wanted out after winning a title. Granted, you guys won that title, but you still call this man Daddy Kawhi after he absolutely took a shit on your franchise. All right, all right, all right. You know you're wrong. That's why you're trying to bring up other points. I'm, I'm not wrong you. because you owe me money. At this moment, right? I'm not wrong because you owe me money. All right, if Kawhi would have played, I would not owe you money right now. Frankly, that's all I'm saying. Kawhi would have played, I would not owe you no money. That's I'm sending not, all no. my bills to Kawhi Leonard. I'm sending him an Instagram DM, and I'm saying, look, you robbed me, and I'm expecting him to pay me back. I specifically remember a point in time during that recording, you physically tried to tell me that Kawhi Leonard was going to play all the home games? That's what I had read. That's what I read in the article. All the home, do you understand how much sense that doesn't make? You know, I don't know, man. I just read stuff. I research. You don't research. You don't do enough research. If you did enough research, you wouldn't owe me money. You wouldn't have walked in his house and picked the Clippers. I, I knew I was picking the Clippers before. You're wearing, you were wearing a Phoenix Suns jersey. Yes. And you tried to tell me that the black Shane Lucchini wasn't going to get it done over Zubats. Come on. Look. Whatever. It's it's the pass now. What yeah, am I oh, now it's the pass. Yeah, you want me to change it? What do you want me to it's do? It's not going to happen. Okay. You're We're not going to change the pass. You're still going to owe me money. You're going to owe me money like you did at the end of football, because apparently you know what the hell you're talking about as far as football goes, but I ended up... How, what was it, like 175 bucks? I don't even remember. It was I think it was like 175 bucks straight out of your pockets. Yes. You don't know what you were talking about. Again, do me a favor and realize who the real king is of this sports betting, gambling, picking, whatever you want to call it, sports knowledge on the Sam Sports Talk channel. Do not ever step to the king again. It seems like we haven't even decided who the king is yet. We know who the king is. 
there's a whole nother week. There's a whole nother series. There's a championship with a ring. Yeah. You would know a lot about that because you spent the last 10 years bandwagoning one player because he keeps getting them. Call it bandwagoning. He keeps getting them. He's been to 10 NBA finals. Yeah, that's the only reason you like him. He's been to 10 NBA finals. He's won four of them. I spent most of my years crying because they lose in the finals. You think I'm bandwagoning off of somebody who loses? You think that's fun? No, it's not fun. No, it's not fun. We went home in the first round this year. It's because you suck. And then the new pandemic P, Porzingis stinks too. Yes. So like, I don't know what you want me to say. You can call me a bandwagon all you want. I don't care. I love LeBron James, will always love LeBron James, but I'm also a realist. I understand what is good with the game of basketball. Clearly, because I pick better than you. You pick better than me one week. Go I the pick heart. better than you every week. Can you look at overall? Picks? I pick better than you every week. No. I pick better than you every single week. 10 for 10, I, during football, I pick better than you every single week. You won one week. One week. Yeah. And I your did. head it inflates. It yeah. inflates. And I don't understand it. All right. Look at the overall record for the NBA right now in terms of series. Okay. You got it. More series. Is it close? It's not close. It's not close. Okay, okay, that's all I needed it's, to hear. It's not close, but fundamentally, the first round matchups are easier to pick. I don't see anybody who asked you that. I asked myself that. <laughs> don't come <laughs> on my <laughs> channel and try to be disrespectful. Oh. Uh, right. Come on my channel and try to be disrespectful to me when you're in debt. I'm the debt collector. I'm here for my money. Where is it? I'll take Don't cash at Venmo, I'll take dollars. it in cash. You can give me a check, whatever you want to do. Give me the money. Give me the money. And you're going to owe me more money after this week. So what does it matter? I ain't going to owe you nothing, frankly. You're going to owe me the world. You're going to owe me your entire bank account. You got to take a loan out for the amount of money you're going to owe me. You can't even count as high as my bank. You can't beat the house. I am the house. You know how they say you can't beat Vegas? I am Vegas. That's me. Yeah. Right, yeah, in, you're front of, right in front of your eyes. So you better get used to it. And you should be at this point after we've been doing this for damn near a year. Yeah, I'm ready to win. That's Let's all go. Got. Let's I'm do it right now. Go. Let's do it right now. So today we're here. It's 10 for 10. We're picking the NBA Finals. Okay, so here's the rules. We're going to spice it up a little bit this week with the NBA Finals. We're not just going to pick the games because that's a little bit boring. We obviously want to throw more money in the pot. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to pick the Finals winner. We're going to pick the amount of games. We're going to pick the point per game leader for both teams. Now, with that being said, it will be the point per game leader combined. So it will be... It, you wouldn't pick one from the Suns and one from the Bucks. You would pick one all together. That would lead the entire series in points per game. The same thing is going to go for rebounds, assists, and field goal percentage. So the money totals, here's the money that we're putting down. For the winner of the finals, we're putting down $50. For points per game, we're going to put down 10. Rebounds, assists, and field goal percentage, we're putting down $5 a pop. So that's the rules. And the final, finals MVP, what do we, I think we decided 10, 10, correct? Yeah. So 10 on finals MVP as well. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to let you kick it off because you owe me money. Okay. Who's winning this series and in how many games? All right. I'll tell you right now who's going to win this series. The Phoenix Suns will win this series. You want me to tell you in how many games? I would love for you to tell me in how many games. They will win this series in five games. This will be a five-game series. It will end 4-1. The Phoenix Suns will reign victorious. Five games. Five games. What if Giannis comes back healthy? You're just going to ignore that? Yeah, I don't don't care. You don't care? Who's Giannis? Who is Giannis? Bro, the team played better without him. Oh, my God. It's like you're. It's, like, really better it's, it's like you don't know who he is. It's like again, you're like flashing your knowledge again. The team played better without him. Have you? You've yes. been listening to Stephen A. Smith, because I saw that this morning, when Stephen A. Smith boldly tried to claim 
that the Bucks are better without Giannis, and that makes the Bucks are better without Giannis. You make no sense. You see Chris Middleton. What about Chris Middleton? He hooped. He's historically bad in the playoffs, and is finally deciding to turn it on. Yeah, he hooped when Giannis wasn't there. I don't give a he shit. Got with, with with Giannis there? But they're better without Giannis. You yes. might be a psycho. You are a head case. I'm not a head case. Oh my God. I, you're unbelievable. Okay. So I have the Suns as well. I have the Suns as well, but I'm taking them in six. Because I have more faith in the Milwaukee Bucks than you do. And I think that Giannis at some point will come back and make this somewhat of a series. I like the Milwaukee Bucks, don't get me wrong, but I don't like Giannis. No, you don't. You don't like the Milwaukee Bucks because the Milwaukee Bucks are Giannis onto the Kupo. No. Yes, that you, you that's what they are. No. He's a two-time MVP. And he just when he wasn't there, they won. What does that mean, man? What does that mean? You're they, playing a lollipop with down. hair on it. A lollipop with hair on it and John Collins. I I hope you would win. How many how how many minutes did Trey Young even play in that game? He didn't finish the game, did he? Nah, he was hurt. He he like messed up his ankle. Yeah. No. Regardless, was he you played a team game? without your best player. Oh oh. They played a team without their best player. Yeah, and they didn't have their best player. There, and they destroyed them. The Bucks. All right, Trey Young. Trey Young versus Giannis in the Atlanta Hawks. Trey Young versus Giannis. Who's better? Giannis. Okay. But the rest of the look at the build of the rest of the team. Yeah. Not bad. But, but who's only better? One, only one person can have the ball at a time. But who's but who what what back back 13 is better? The Hawks or the Bucks? All right, all right, I'll it's take the, the Bucks. Bucks. I'll take the Bucks. Okay. Oh my God. That's fair. You were literally just trying to tell me that the Bucks are better with Giannis, without Giannis. They are better without Giannis. Yeah. You're unbelievable. Who's your points per game leader? Points per game? Yep. Oh. I'm going to say Giannis. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, no, nah, I would say Giannis if he didn't have the injury. Okay. If I could like reliably say that Giannis was gonna be playing the entire series, I would say him. Because I know he's gonna have the ball 98% of the time. For right. The but I don't know. It's gonna come down to the same thing with my finals MVP argument is, I wanna say D-Book. I think D-Book is a pretty solid choice for points per game. Um, but I don't, know if he's going to win finals MVP just because I think the narrative for the NBA is going to be like give Chris Paul finals MVP. Correct, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm with that. Like a like a nice little Peyton Manning like set him off, you know, riding into the sunset on a horse. Like, I don't know. But I do think D-Buck is going to definitely win three game. Okay. My, my might shock you. I'm going CP3. Okay. I think CP3 is turning it on. I think he's going to cook Drew Holiday in this series. I think Drew Holiday is one of the most overrated players in this league. I don't care what he just did in the Eastern Conference Finals. He's going to cook. CP3 is going to cook. Oh. Don't care. He's going to cook. All right. He'll get Here. signed out. He's going to retire after this season. In all the community. What's that? Devin Booker will pull up at the elderly home. Clock CP3 out. He'll be able to come out for the day, play some basketball. That's it. Yeah, that's really what's going to happen. Figure You're really being disrespectful to a man who dropped 37 points in a closeout game against your Clippers. The Queen of England. You're starting to turn into Skip Bayless. That's what you are. You're starting to turn into Skip Bayless. Your takes stink. You love the Clippers. You love Kawhi. Yeah. Yep. You yeah. are now Skip. And you hate LeBron James. You are Skip Bayless. Bro, is LeBron. LeBron James even a basketball player anymore? I haven't seen him play basketball in a long you, time. I saw him on a basketball court, though. You might as well be a Lakers fan. LeBron James was yelling at the was yelling at the announcers. I saw that. He was yelling at his kid. But he hurt. It, it was hurting. He yelling at his kid. He was not. He was yelling at the, right, announcer. Dude. the announcer was talking about it. All right, dude. Got it. Nope. He's been out of the playoffs for a month and a half, and we're still bringing him up. 
Just yeah. how much everybody really cares about this man and how rent free he lives in everybody's mind. Cool. Got it. Let's move on. So here's what we're going to do. I want you to give me your rebound, assist, and field goal percentage leader all in one take right here. Okay. Um, rebound. I'm going to go with oh, the, the Black San Lakini. I'll take, I'll take DeAndre Aiden. The Black San Assist, I will take CP3. And field goal percentage, I will take... That's so hard, bro. That's so difficult. Give me Middleton. You just lost five bucks. You you just absolutely lost five bucks. You did not pick literally the NBA playoffs field goal percentage leader. The black Sam Lucchini, DeAndre Ayton shooting 75% from the floor. I love this guy. I love this guy. Rebounds, I'm going Ayton. Assists, yeah. I'm going Drew Holiday. Okay. I think that's I that's think fun. that offense is incredibly stagnant without Giannis. He's gonna have to run it. He's gonna be feeding Middleton a lot. So I have full faith that Drew Holiday is gonna lead and assist during this series. And like I said, field goal percentage, I'm going with the black Sam Lucchini, the white Wait. DeAndre in, in the flesh. I'm going with this man all day. Didn't you just say that Drew Holiday was the most overrated player? Yep, but he's gonna have to do a lot during this series. I said he's one of the most overrated players. I'm not saying I'm not saying that Drew Holiday's a bad basketball player. I'm saying he's overrated. All right, who's who's winning the first jump ball? Who's winning? we're not doing that? You literally <laughs> you talked about this yesterday. We're not talking about how many times Devin Booker sneezed in the third quarter of Game Three. <laughs> like we're not. That's that's a bullshit prop. That's a bullshit prop. But if I were to put money on the jump ball, I'd probably say Brooklyn. Okay. I would go Brooklyn you, guys all day. All right. Do you think Brook Lopez is going to give DeAndre Aiden any problems? Nah. No. Nah. Did you see Brook Lopez literally turn in the Don't care. Team? Don't care. You didn't Don't see it. Care. DeAndre Aiden. Shame. I think he's going to give him problems. I really do. Sam Lucchini. I don't care. Who is this guy? Who's Sam Lucchini? Me. Your debt collector. Oh, right, yep. right, right. that that's who I am. I'm your debt collector. I'm here to I'm here to take this money. You took Chris Middleton, who sh steady shoots 30 percent on a night to night basis. Not the playoffs. God, I got to I got to use your your excuse. He's got to step it up. Oh, got to step it up. In the finals. Finals. That is so awful. That is so awful. Yeah. Um, I'm going to assume that our like consensus finals MVP is the same. Well, I'm. I'm back and forth between Booker and CP3. Mine's CP3. I'll take right. Booker. I'll split it with you. I'll take Booker. All right, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I do, I do want to say, though, I think Booker's going to earn it, but I think CP3 will probably get it just because he's... That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm taking CP3. It's a smart pick here. It is a smart pick, but I'll, I'll split it with you just, just to have the split. Okay, so that does it. Easy enough. Um, I will be walking away with a ton of money after this week. Um, so, everybody, that's going to do it for 10 for 10. This is going to come out on Tuesday. The NBA Finals start tonight. Game 1's in Phoenix. Bucks and Suns. I think it's at 9. Something like that. Okay? Subscribe, like, comment. All that good stuff. You guys know who the real king is of this channel. It's not him. It's me. We'll be back in a week. We'll talk about my money. And we'll see you guys in the next video.